I'm gonna start our recording. Um, okay. I'm gonna put them in the. I'll put them in the. Okay. I'm gonna put them in the chat. Francesca Woodman was a young lady. She actually committed suicide. She was a student of photography in New York, and um, she's a huge influence of mine. She, um, you know, I, I love Diane Arvis. Oh, you're right, right, right. Um, Sally Man. It's nice, you know, a lot of times um, before I work, I will look at, at artwork. Like sometimes I will just go through like, um, you know, a 20 minute like search either yeah. at, through a book, a magazine yeah. or something just before I start working just to kind of like, yeah, get, get some things flowing in, in me before I just go out there and try to work. Right. right. So I try to get in the mood and these people definitely um put me in the mood i love this guy too and i i actually he was one of my professors or he was a friend of mine i actually kind of had a crush on him for a while but he he's um he's cool he's his stuff is really moody and dark and um yeah sarah moon stuff is really moody very poetic i like her style i like her approach mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um the graphics some of the things are so graphic um i know and you know what's interesting is that it's like um i like how she she doesn't this is like some she doesn't show just figures like mm -hmm. so the way they like it'd be like a picture of ice ice or like something outside like a landscape yeah. and then a figure and then a bird and then another like window shot and then a figure so and i like that I used to do more of that when I was younger, but I like, I mean, I have a lot of figures. I mean, I have a lot of pictures of people, but yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, a lot. So I don't, but I, maybe I should try to take more of those other kinds of pictures. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. They're but cool. It's just fun. It, yeah. It's just nice to kind of, for me to see uh, <clears throat> different the styles of different people. Cause you know, I just knew regular straight photography, not the art. Photography. Right, not the art scene. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> so, yeah. All um, right, well, let's, I saw you sent me an email, so let's go to the... Yeah, so the first two, I feel like... Um, oh, I love that picture. <laughs> Which one? The one with the horse. Oh, <laughs> I know, I'm gonna, I need, I'm gonna try to get more, I'm gonna photograph the horses more too, or, mm -hmm. or me and the horse. Uh, yeah, but hopefully that'll happen next summer when I do my workshop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or when the weather gets nicer. It's hard. It's hard right now. It's so cold. And Vincent got hurt this week. He got kicked in the, he got kicked in the chest. He was like bleeding. Oh, it's gross. Whoa. Yeah, but he's okay. He's, he's okay. He acted like a big baby. He was like, act really acted like he was, <laughs> it was like the end of his life. Uh, I think you sent it to my Gmail, right? Let me see. Yeah, I think it's a Gmail. It's too much other junk mail. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So you work on this one. Let's let's start with the older ones first. Right. Because oh, it looks like, yeah, it's I perfect. Like you added that little bit of the teal part up at the top. Yeah, and then I, I love it. put some tar over it. That's yeah, I love it. And it was it was easy. Um, yeah, perfect. So I feel like that was the finishing touch on that one. Yeah, perfect. I love it. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. I like that. Okay. One. Then the, done. So, so done. done. A, third one, a third one of that series that I want to do, but that's something else. Um, okay. So then the next one, the tree spirits. I, I I like the changes you suggested. Oh yes. I. Me too. Me too. Great. Me too. Beautiful. Yep. Their hair is popping. That background isn't so bright white. Yeah, and I no, it's, it's gorgeous. On the, well, a little bit of brown in the in the floating objects. It, it's just, it just finished it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, good. Really gorgeous. Gorgeous. Excellent. Awesome. So okay. So, the third one on that on that series that I want to do, but I, I'm going to have to ask you to print. But we'll do that. Later. Okay. That's okay, fine. This one. Okay. So this one. <clears throat> oh, I feel like you did what we talked about. You know what might be interesting. Yeah. Wait, let me download this one and then let me see if I, uh, all right, whatever. Let's just, all right, forget it. Let's just do this. I don't know where the other one went. Okay, so I had 
I, I did some of the things you, you told me. I actually pulled back a flower from her hair, so I didn't put extra, uh, I didn't paint her hair. I just pulled it back, so that was okay. Right, you got rid of, so this, oh, this part that was over, this part? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then um, I kind of swished the, above her because you wanted that kind of, you know, much more. And then, but then I put some gold pigment on there. Mm -hmm. It may be too much, but I just thought, I'm just going to leave it and just see what you think. So that's mm -hmm. underneath, it's, there's much less detail. It's much softer. Okay. okay. And then I did the plum bodice. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I did the wax um, from the right to the left and it worked on the right. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, the stencils are so um, 3D. Yeah. That the wax had trouble going in. So I did scrape back the wax some and I kind of smoothed it out and that worked on the right side. Yeah. But on the left side, it was a mess. Okay. So what I, so I looked at it at an intermediate stage, I said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, extend that dark plum mm -hmm. and I, because I, I kind of like that underneath. It was just looking kind of weird. And then I put in some more stencil to get it back to where it was before I put the clear wax on. So mm -hmm. I left it there because my question is, should I be <clears throat> scraping back the stencil some yeah, because they're so 3D and then put the wax on mm. um, or should I put the wax on and hope that I can scrape it back and it just softens it the way it did on the right. So I, I just, I'll, I'm going to leave it at that intermediate stage until we talk about it. Okay. Okay. Well, you want to work on this one today? Yeah, that one, but, but, but I do want to get a strategy for the, um, for this yeah. one, for this one. All right. Do you want to talk about this one? Yeah. Let's let's just talk. No. Let's let's finish. Give me a help me with the strategy for that one. This one. Okay. So let me download this image. Let me download in this image so I can take it into Photoshop. Okay. So I mean, it looked great in Photoshop when you you know it just softened it, but when I tried to do it with the wax, the, uh -huh. well, first of all, I thought I had the pigment dry and there was some that smudged but that that would have been okay no I don't, but, yeah that, i don't see that doesn't bother me yeah but then but then it just got um the, the clear wax kind of globbed just up on the top and on the edges <laughs> it, it just was weird so okay so hold on i mean it's a little bit easier for you i mean a little bit harder for me just because I'm not looking at it. Yeah. So if you look at it, okay, but, but so go down. Yeah. There's still, I left, I allowed it to be a little bit 3d, but it was not as strong as it was in the first version. So, um, so should I scrape back from this and then put the wax on? Well, l let me put it to you this way. So yeah. You you need to be in charge of how much texture, yeah, that you actually want here. I mean, I think my goal for this part up here was that there was a little bit more of this flower from underneath coming out. And sometimes what I do mm -hmm. um, is after I put the wax on, I feel like I can use another tool like a woody crayon or a wax crayon to, oh. to kind of go I'm going to take some black right here to kind of go back to where what you had underneath and maybe even try to merge these two layers so do you see how you have like these shapes yeah yeah oh I see so like maybe just like you can take the texture that you have but maybe like you know, give it some, like if this is one big flower, I, I don't know, I don't recall what this original design looked like, but you could make, you know, divide it up, like take the texture and the gold that you have there, but then like maybe, you know, make these into little, see how they're like little petals. Yeah. I well, mean, I, and again, I like- I didn't feel like I had a problem with, um, 
with this one smoothing it out and, and kind of pulling it back so it's not that strong textured stencil i mean that was okay right but uh, you see how i'm using the dark yeah. to kind of like give it i'm you i'm keeping like i'm keeping mm -hmm. everything you have on there yeah. but i'm just seeing flowers like in here all over the place so it's like I'm kind of drawing them out with this outline, but you could do this with a, a wax crayon. You could also do it with the with um, you know, some pan pastel. Oh, okay. You know, you could kind of like give these guys some some form. Mm -hmm. I mean, and again, it's like you you want to kind of use a variety of techniques mm -hmm. and combine techniques in a way that sort of just. Kind of get your message across like here too like do you see how you have like right this mm -hmm. flower mm -hmm. behind this flower mm -hmm. it kind it's of like sometimes you gotta yeah. just keep like adding you know you gotta keep just mm -hmm. going and adding like mm -hmm. even here you have this interesting shape like this lace thing you mm -hmm. know so when you, say a when you say a wax crayon is that like just a regular shot so Children. I use the woody crayons. Woody crayons. Yeah, I'll I'll, sh I'll show you them. So look, I made her hair a little bit darker. Yeah. Uh, I think you need to make her hair darker because you made her bodice so dark. Mm -hmm. I actually personally think that her bodice is too dark. It's too dark. Okay. Yeah, it's too like the color. Like, let's just see what happens. Let me just see if I lighten it up. Mm -hmm. I just. Or shade it, give it a gradient. You kind of put it on there one color. Yeah, so, I did yeah. a little bit of shading, but not not as much as you're doing. Okay. All right. So okay, so that's looking better already. Do you mm -hmm. see how these black lines, they yeah. just kind of like it's not <clears throat> even that they did they did anything like that major. What they did do though is they gave a little bit of expansion and definition. Mm -hmm. to the flowers that you had so it was so it's not just like an exclamation point but it's kind of like a a, a, a fade or like a deconstruct deconstruct decrescendo decrescend i can't even say it decrescendo away okay. like a volume thing so it's okay. like a big flower and it's not just like all by itself mm -hmm. you know it has friends it has like florally little you know friends so and again sometimes too like you just you know add a little bit more out here I kind of like that this top one took a little bit of structure, you know, and definition between the gold and the black to kind of give it some type of shape. Okay. Uh, you know, um, and again, like I just by chance last week, I was watching some videos on oil pastels and watercolors and that sort of resist. And then I watched a video on how to paint flowers and it just talked about like petals and all the basic shapes of petals. And sometimes for this type of work, when you're adding flowers, in my mind, if I just add any shape that resembles a petal, I don't have to be so specific about the whole flower or mm -hmm. what type of flower. I'm just sort yeah. of like poetically suggesting it by making like teardrop drop shapes or petal shapes mm -hmm. in whatever pattern mm -hmm. I want to kind of help me with my composition. Okay, great. So okay. that's new technique for me but yeah I see yeah it. so and it's like these could be also if you don't want to draw again you have you're the artist you have to decide you could draw these types of shapes on the wax with a crayon with a waxy crayon or you can draw them into the wax oh, right. with a sharp tip right with a needle or a pen or um, a knitting you know like a knitting some type of sharp tool right set. okay or wax crayon on top and you're going to tell me about this woody crayon and how i get that. oh yeah here i'll show you i buy them on amazon they're really fun they're super uh super great tool to have they're literally like 20 dollars for the set they're like the cheapest art supply they're <laughs> really called what uh they're called cebolas or something what do you no, hold on. Is it? Um, Abdullah? 
here they are. They're called Stabilo. They're made by a company called Stabilo. S T A B I L O. Oh yeah. Okay. And they're literally children's. They're like the, they're per, so like here is like a black one is eleven dollars. But don't buy. Look, you can buy oh three black ones. Buy this little kit ten twenty two dollars. Okay. And play with it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Yep. Because they're nice, they can work for any type of outline work that you're doing. You know, they get you can just you can you could you could use purple. They're just not they're semi you know transparent. They're not opaque, and they can do all kinds of lines. Okay, so I think this part looks good. I darkened her hair. I I highlighted her blouse right. So I put the white. I darkened her hair here. I added the lighter white on her blouse up here. So it looks like she has a chest, right? And a, right, mm -hmm. 3D. I feel like the way the this area is, looks like her figure is here. Right. right. It, I, I, yeah. Let's, let's I don't mind it. that. I don't mind that. I actually, I actually like that. But what ha is happening is that I think you need to take this color Mm -hmm. you see how you can kind of like put her if you just put a little bit of that pink back over she can just go right down into the corner like this look oh okay. do you see? That's, so that's do you see and i like that it's more like she's standing there looking through this garden do you like that wait can you just with your pointer i had to let the dog in so can you that's just, okay let me see i'm gonna go back i'll show you what i did yeah just let me see this is, oh. okay i basically took i basically took this color this color uh-huh and i took my brush tool and i just went o over this with that color oh over all, uh, the um the new stencil okay yeah do you see how pretty that is so yeah. you could use that color either in a pigment, if you had an pigment stick or in a pan pastel and you just filled in a little bit at the bottom, that's like she's standing there. Fill over the- um, Over the green, yeah, don't scrape it. So sometimes remember, you always have like, you always come to this fork in the road mm -hmm. where it's like, you can blend it in, scrape mm -hmm. it off. You know, he, you know what I mean? You can add more, you can cover it up. Like you kind of have to go, okay, what, what what do I want? And I think that for, for this, that would work. The, yeah. the easiest thing is to just take all that texture because I kind of like it, but just make it like it's a part of her dress. It's kind of like these two worlds are merging together. Okay, well, what about the green that's on the right? I would let this green be green. Let this just like this is let should, this... I, should I soften it a little bit or is no, um... I like it. No, I like it. I'll just leave it. Okay, well, that's yeah. Easy. Yeah. Now, I honestly don't, I don't love or really understand this stencil here, mm -hmm. this one. So what you can do is the same thing is again, rather than trying to scrape it off or get rid of it, mm -hmm. take the color that's underneath it and just tone it down, just go over it. Okay, lighten that top. That one, I don't understand this one. I mean, and uh, I, I, it was kind of the same one that was over her head. Right, but yeah. look how much better it looks without without it. it. Lightens it up, okay. And right. you don't have to get rid of it. Like, I don't mind that it's there. Yeah. It just can't be that noisy. It's like drawing yeah. too much attention. It's like, it's like chill out, you know? Well, and also it, what's ha what you've done is the whole right side is lighter and the left side is, and whatever yeah you can and you can do this with um you can do this with the pigment stick or the pan pastel but look you mm -hmm. know and then look you can use this lighter color you know just blend it you can control the way you can control the way all these stencils look by by covering them up tone okay. you know chill, you can leave them there if scraping is not working for you well, that the right side, I, I felt like that was okay. The scraping, it was the left, lower left that was a disaster. <laughs> so I would just blend so you yeah. don't have, but this is what I'm trying to teach you is that yeah. you don't have to get rid of it. You yeah. can leave it there and blend it into the background by, by covering it, it up mm -hmm. with, it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like spotting it. It's just like softening it with, by adding the color that's underneath it on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I like that. Yeah. And like do you that. like the way this looks? Yeah, I like it a lot better. And look, um, see how I'm going like right up to her, like I'm lightening kind of this whole area. Mm -hmm. And I like this composition fine. I like these flowers up here. Mm -hmm. You know, I think this looks good. Yeah, I like that also. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to let that sit for a bit. Until I can and you know what's kind of what I really like is you see yeah. down here, like this to me, it, this looks like a landscape painting. This background looks like this is like a field. And then this is the sky and she's like a, a, a pioneer, you know, like standing outside in the field, oh. <laughs> like with this garden, you know, like looking through this garden. I, I don't know. I like it. I do like it. Originally it was, um, I don't know if you remember, I had, I did um, a gradient from dark purple up to lighter lilac or whatever, but then uh -huh. I, got, I like it. So I put that green on, but at the bottom, there's still some of it. Yeah. I like what you've done. Okay. So I'm going to put that aside, let it, some of the pigment dry for now, wait till I get the woody crayon and then I'll, I'll do the lightning. Good. Um, okay. I'm just going to say, re, this is oh, the okay. retouched. I'll send this to you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can be using, um, I don't know what pan, I would be used, doing this with pan pastel. I'm not as confident with the pan pastel. It seems so, um, like it's the last thing I can do. Well, the pigment stick. Okay, the the problem with the pigment sticks is that they're gonna go on if it because it's three D. They're gonna go on it and around it. Mm -hmm. But the thing with the pan pastel is it's literally you can build it up like um, like spackle. You can build it up. You can't really build up the pigment sticks. So I feel like with the pan pastel, you can put the powder on and it's gonna it's gonna look flatter. It's not gonna look three-dimensional it's gonna you have to build it up but it's gonna look flatter build up it's kind of like makeup pan pencils remind me of makeup like if you were gonna cover up like a blemish on your face mm -hmm. first you'd put the cover up on it and then you'd put the powder on there to, okay. to blend it right so it's the same idea it's like you know you mm -hmm. could scrape it a little bit to smooth it out and then put start building up with the pan the pigment sticks are too they're revealing because they show off all of the depth and wrinkles and and mm -hmm. um, uneven surfaces. But we want something that's going to like smooth that out. We want to disguise that. We don't want to show that off. Does okay. that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm right. I'm writing notes. So I got it. And okay. you can get a really nice cream or off white pan pastel. I don't know which uh, pan pastels you have. I have a pretty good selection now. So okay. Yeah, okay. I really like the way we brought the dress down like full mm -hmm. length. I think that's a great idea is using that. And I love that color that you used. So, so just tone it down some with it. We'll okay. just make the dress longer with that color and then give her a highlight on her chest. Yeah. I'm a little bit uncertain still about this flower up here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that I love love the gold. I, I, yeah, I don't know. too much. I think I, somehow I, it didn't look like, like that much when I originally put it on, but I, well, now it looks like it's a lot. So uh, I think I did have a little bit more of the, the purple, a little bit more. I mean, I wonder if you smoothed it out and if you put another one of these flat, this stencil, like right here in the middle. Which, which one, show me? So with this little flowery oh, stencil here, you put another one like right here, kind of going over her head. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, or you just kind of draw it. Like sometimes you don't have to do the stencil. Like, um, let's see. So you could like, you know, this is like interesting stuff too. This is like muscle memory, right? So the more you paint these little flowers, trust me, the more you're gonna be able to remember their little shape, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. And then fill in the color a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah, kind of that would, purple color. And that would tone down the gold. I mean, and again, like you don't have to take the gold off. Think about it as being like. Yeah, I got, oh, nice.
And, you know, sometimes these stencils, you know, you when you get your woody crayons, you can trace the stencils. You can lay them down on top of the artwork. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you can put your, woody, or, your or you can trace them, you can cut them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. I, you know, it just makes it. Yeah. Do you like this flower here? Yeah, I like, yeah, I like it all together. So it's interesting too, because it's like, you know, the stencils aren't the only way to add the flowers. I think that's the point I'm trying to make. Right. And that sometimes having them like solid with the stencil, but then have the flowers there in another way. The other yeah. way could be drawing them on there, tracing them on there, hand painting them with the encaustic on there. Some encaustic artists really like that hot tool, the hot tip tool, and then they'll just like burn into the wax and draw a flower. Right, mm -hmm. so there's more ways than just the stencil to add the flowers. And I personally think that if you only use one way, it yeah. just becomes like too repetitive or too predictable or heavy handed. Whereas if you use these other mediums, then they're like, oh, it's not as cookie cutter, it's not as perfect, it's kind of dreamy. It just looks more like nature, like because nature is so imperfect. Yeah. By nature, it's like the gardens never all like the flowers aren't always the same direct, you know, it's something's always crazy in the garden, right? Like, and that's how I like the artwork. I don't like it. But that looks nice. I, yeah, I like that. I think I, I, I was doing a lot of stencils and then I thought, no, I've got to learn how to paint. And then I lost my confidence because I, I just couldn't, I, I, they just weren't working. So now I'm back to stencils, but I'll start branching out again. I have to- Well, right, but, but again, like the more you use the stencils and the longer you do this, you're gonna develop this muscle memory okay. to yeah. the shape and form of the flowers because you've been stenciling them and hand painting them and drawing around them and looking at them. And then you're gonna be like, oh, I can do this on my own without the stencil because I know what these flowers look like. You can also practice, you know, some uh, when you're, not working in your encaustic studio, you can practice um, on a sketch pad or with watercolor paint. You know, it's really good to take yourself outside of just the medium that you're wanting mm -hmm. to get good at mm -hmm. and practice something else. Okay. Because it's gonna come back and improve your encaustic work if you start getting really good at painting flowers with watercolors or drawing them with, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. with the woody crayons or whatever else, like, you know, it's gonna come back and help your encaustic work. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so I think this one looks great like this. And I really do like that. I like it a lot. Yeah, now if I can, you know, I'll work on- Did uh, you write down, do you want me to write down what I said? Wait, oh, I've, I've been taking notes. Okay, so okay. first you're gonna like lighten her chest and work on her bodice. Right. And you're gonna blend back and blending back means taking the background color going over the foreground color and blurring the two together, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So you're gonna blend back this because this really does look like a landscape, especially because you have this low, this low hor horizontal line here that goes back. This definitely looks like a landscape. Like this is a tree line. This is the field. This is the sky. Do you see that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> when you point it out. <laughs> right, this is a landscape right here. Okay. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I do. I definitely do. Yeah. So do you see how, and you could even like when you get the woody crayon, like you could do little lines here, mm -hmm. you know, and it kind of emphasize that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to draw on it. Oh, wait, maybe I do. Oh, I don't know how to draw on here. It won't let me. So that emphasize that those is like, trees right trees. and this right and this i mean this is beautiful it reminds me of those stuart Schulz landscapes i showed you right and it also looks like this is in front and this is behind which is also right. really nice right. yeah that's really good that's really good good okay i i feel like um yeah have you been watching um eight, 1883 or 1838 1838. It's a show, it's a precursor to Yellowstone. Oh, no, 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 we saw 1883. Yeah, Eight, we saw- Oh, is it 1883? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, did you, see, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really so beautiful. beautiful. Did you see yeah. the last one? No, we had, we missed two. 
Kent's been gone, so we usually we like to see it together. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we. No. We just, <laughs> it's, it's so interesting it's, about the people in the covered wagons and the Europeans. It is. It's, it's so interesting. Yeah, I, I, I wish. I definitely was wish, wish. I think I would have liked that time. Oh, I don't know. Boy, it sure was hard. A hard. Time. It was really risky, though, right? Really risky. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, do you want to paint this with me? We have like twenty minutes. Do you want to work on it together? Actually, what I'd like to do uh -huh. is um, I'm going to wait till I get the woody crayon. So, okay. what I'd like to do is talk about and strategize the next one, which is something totally different. Totally different. Um, oh, the black and white one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you something. That, okay. So I have I have it where it is now. It's it's a black and white. It doesn't look too interesting, but it, I've covered it with clear wax medium. Okay. And then I'm going to show you uh, if you get it, so you can see my, um, my uh, see me. I, I'll show you. I'll show it to you in color because what I'd like to do is paint it. And then uh, I would apply the gold leaf, and I, I just think it's so beautiful. But I need to I need to talk to you about the gold leaf. So can you can you do it so you see me? And yeah, that? not the picture. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me get rid of the screen share. Okay, I'll show you the color. Okay. Awesome. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. It, it looks like a paint. So wait, is this a photograph you took, or is it? No, a friend of mine took it and she just sent me a book. We used to, um, it, we were in Bangkok together and mm -hmm. we used to do photos together, but this was new in her new book. It looks like her, her dress is made out of like stars. Yeah. It, it looks like well, the constellations are like, it looks like each of those little circles is like a glittery star yeah. and well, is gathered it, together for her dress. What it is, is the ties mm -hmm. will take gold leaf and they'll put it on a statue. Mm -hmm. So each per so each person comes in they put gold leaf. So sometimes yeah. these are covered with this these little squares. Oh yeah, that's cool. So these are all square. So it's beautiful. It seems to me, and I asked her permission to play with it. And, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've got the black. I've got the black and white. So it seems to me that I want to start with the light color. Um, you know, maybe this light color. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a red wash. So I'm, let's say I had the light color and then I had the dark here. And then I was wondering if I should do like a- Okay, well, we'll follow, follow your basic steps. You're gonna, make, you're gonna turn it into a black and white. You're gonna glue it to a panel. You'll do your base wax medium coating on it. Then it looks like you're gonna do the red washy- That's what I thought. Layer. Well, except that here's here's my over question. the wax medium, yeah. Well, here's my question. So, uh -huh. I could do it that way because that's what I was thinking. Oh, I'll do a you know glaze with wax and caustic. But well, it's your gradient too. Look at it; it's your gradient. It's darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. Right. The right. So I was thinking that except that the gold leaf. The gold leaf, if it's underneath, that wash is going to change the gold leaf because this. You can't put the gold leaf underneath. You have to. It's the last thing that you do. Okay, because it's it's a different color. This. No, the gold, gold leaf. The the gold leaf that's in the picture right now. Yeah. Is going to disappear. You have to add the gold leaf. Right. Right. But. So, but if I have this, is all kind of a reddish wash. Uh huh. How do I get? And, and these gold leaf are have that red tinge and this is- so you have to go, gold. okay, so you have to go photo, okay. wax medium, then yeah. you have to do the red reddish wash. Red wash, okay. Right? Then yeah. you're gonna have to do the green stencily leaves that are coming That's in from right. the side. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna have to put probably clear wax medium over those. Then mm -hmm. you're gonna have to do a vignette, like a dark vignette around the top corners, mm -hmm. right? But remember too, the red wash has to be a gradient. So it's darker at the top, three quarter, and then lighter at the bottom. And then you're gonna do the dark vignette. And then mm -hmm. when you get everything squared away, then you're gonna do the gold. And what you can do is you can just take the gold leaf and you can do it with a like the end of a brush mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just dip the, end of the brush into the gold leaf and then 
dab it onto the you right. can use whatever try a bunch of different tools like try chopsticks you could use you know anything with a square end or a round end at right. the end you know like the end of a pen you know like right. like the end of a pen uh -huh. or a chopstick would be really good or an, even an eraser like a pencil eraser mm -hmm. you dip it into the, the gold leaf and then you put it on the wax well, I'm not really using gold leaf though. I'm going to use, I have gold pigment stick. No, gold pigment stick is terrible. Use gold leaf. Just do, but use gold leaf. I can send you some if you want. I have a ton. Yeah, I, have, I have some. It's, it's I don't think you're going to like the gold. I don't, the gold, the gold pigment stick is super translucent. I don't think it's going to give you enough. Unless you did, unless you did white little white dots and then put the gold on top of the white, it's not going to, it's not going to have any, it's not going to be illuminated unless it's a solid. Okay. Because yeah. if it's translucent, it doesn't illuminate. It just shines. It doesn't like, it doesn't have volume or mass. It just okay. is it there. It's too uh, translucent. So I have to do white dots and then the thicknesses or or actually just use gold leaf. Okay, it's just hard with those tiny. Well, that's why I'm saying use yeah. a tool to stick the tool. And if you want, we can do it together. Like I could try, I could sample it because I have tons of gold leaf. I think the thing about using like a pencil eraser is that the gold leaf will stick to this uh -huh. and then it'll also stick to the wax. So it'll be like- I'll do it on a like a practice piece, and I, I was thinking, yeah, try that, like, and I'll do it. I'll try it too before I see you again. But if I, I'm pretty sure that if I stick this pencil eraser in the on the gold leaf, just that little some little piece will stick here. It'll move, and then it'll stick to the wax. Okay, okay. Now, so then, then the the last question is so after the gold leaf is after the gold leaf is on the oh, hang on one second. Mm hmm hello hey i'm in my zoom i'm at my desk where are you okay 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 call me when you get here we'll come out and help okay <laughs> so i'm pretty sure that what will happen is that the wax will absorb like that the that the gold leaf will stick on and then what you do is you use a piece of tissue paper or wax paper you put it over the gold leaf and you rub it gently mm -hmm. and then the gold leaf will be fairly secure onto the wax mm -hmm. and then you can use your pan pastels again mm -hmm. like i wouldn't use pigment stick because you're gonna have to rub it too much but if you use the pan pastels you should be able to add a little bit of red or rougey over if you want that kind of reddish light in certain spots. So I'll have I'll have the red uh, encaustic wash at the beginning, the gradient. Yeah. Then at the end, I did a pan pastel just yeah. to put some of that reddish tone on the gold on the gold leaf. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Yeah. Because yeah. you're gonna have a coat of wax over the the thing. The thing that you're gonna have to work on. Is mm -hmm. is that like the difference? The difference between the black figure, like her, you know, so she doesn't. Have, so you're gonna have to put the red. What I would do is do that glaze of red and then scrape out the figure. So remove the wax over the figure, because remember we've done that before. Where you've seen me do that a million times, where I cover the figure and then I dig her back out. Okay. Like, I mean that's like my signature style. Like very early on when I first started working with wax. I would just cover, I would bury the figures <laughs> and do whatever I wanted on top of them. And then I would go back in and That's that was sort of like my, it was sort of more about the archeology span for me, like the digging back and uncovering what was there, you know, okay. sort of like bringing back to life sort of the parts that I wanted people to see, right? So it's kind of fun, it's fun mentally to think about that too. Like, cause you know, it's there, you put it there. And then you cover it up and then you bring it back. So, then, kind of so then at the end, doing the 
pan pastel, that's like um, cheating a little bit to get that reddish effect. It's cheating a little bit. It's like, it's like add it. It's think of it again, back to that makeup analogy. Like think about smoothing out the skin or putting some color. Like when we put rouge on our cheeks or whatever, you know, yeah, I'm cheating, but I look better with it. Like, you know, what can I say? No, no, it's, it's okay. So there's not one answer. It's actually two answers. Okay. Well, right. And the reason that you don't want to use another material is that any other material is going to be too heavy handed like you don't want to put you can't put wax over the gold leaf because it'll just move it or bury it and then it won't be shiny and you can't put oils you can't put oil on top of it either because it's too abrasive using you just have to rub the oil too much right it, I it's okay. too it's like it, it, it it's like vinegar and oil they don't go together so it's better just to stay powdery and light if you want to tone the color so yeah but you're really learning like again too it's like what do i want to happen and what tools do i want to use to make it happen how can i get there yeah yeah exactly and it's nice i mean i think it's interesting too that you're really like planning more you know Oh yeah, well, and on this one, I think I'll have to do a lot of practice pieces, you know, kind of get the hang of, yeah. Yeah, do you have any of the, do you have, you have the gold leaf material now? Do you have any practice? And yeah, do some practice boards. I mean, you can take that that picture that she sent you and you can just Xerox copy of it and make and glue okay. it to a board and try it small. I just did a, a Xerox, I put it on there and I thought, oh yeah. I mean, that's basically what I'm doing because I'm going to have a show. I'm actually doing that video. I'm doing the video for the um, painting with fire, which I'm going to make like an hour and a half video. Whoa. So, but I have to practice what I'm going to do in the video. <laughs> so like I have to figure out which photos I'm going to put together, you know, what collage is going to work for me, you know, and then I have to practice it a bunch of times before I'm going to feel comfortable enough to do it live on camera. But it's literally, and like this, you know, it's, it's literally you take each step and it's just like, okay, I first I need to do this step. And then like, what are the variations within that step? And then I'm gonna do this step. So yeah. it's kind of cool. Um, you might wanna make another um, piece like of the, is that your grandmother? The one that we were just working on? Yeah, yeah. You might wanna make another one of her too. Like mm -hmm. um, just because now you're more familiar with painting it and you had some ideas, but like, what would happen if you tried to do that same thing again? You know, I've, I've really liked taking doing a series of one image and, you know, kind of trying out different things. I mean, I, that's, I really like that, that learning technique that you showed me. I, um, I think it builds confidence. I'm a true believer in it. I mean, I'm literally like right now, you know, for my year, then, you know, picking the pictures that I want to work with, printing them in multiple, I kind of just stick to a rhythm. It's nice for me to have that consistency of like knowing I can do something and not relying on like bursts of massive imagination, you know, like yeah. we're creative, but we're not like back. Like I'm, you know, I need a little structure too. I need a little planning. I need a little security. You know, I can't just be come in there and be like perfect all the time. What is this? What is this uh, Zoom that you're doing? Um, painting with fire. What is okay, that? so um, hang on, I'll show you. Yeah, so um, let's see if we can find it. So Laura Murphy, you'll like her work too. She's really talented. She's um, an encaustic artist in Ireland, and um, oh, she's she the one I'm going to teach with. Okay. Um, mm hmm. She's the one I'm going to teach with in um, next year, 2023. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. These are her paintings. Okay. So she does like encaustic portrait work. Oh my gosh. I know. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. She actually, she actually paints them from scratch. She doesn't use photo. I know they're pretty cool. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Oh. I know. I, I really, mm -mm. I know. I love them. They're so beautiful. Yep. She's got this, this down to a science. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then she has, she organized a bunch of artists. Let me see how I Google this. So painting 
with fire is like 20, 20 encaustics online workshop 2021. So it's a year long course is devoted to studying the practice of encaustic painting, 26 plus world renowned encaustics artists sharing their knowledge and expertise. So it's over 50 hours of, of um, class instruction for the low price for $250. Oh my gosh. So it looks like classes are delivered each Wednesday, um, approximately 12 noon and are as pre-recorded videos. And once they're available, you can watch whatever you wish and you can rewatch them multiple times. So this, so you're, you're doing yours coming up. I mean, this is I'm doing up. an hour. Yeah. I'm going to do my headshot and my artist statement like in the next two weeks. And then I'm going to do my video in February. Okay. So I'm going to start practicing. I think I'm going to do, I think I might do the one we did. I think I might do the one I made at our workshop. That was cool because I remember looking at it when you sent it and I thought, you know, I was right there and I have no idea how you did that. I mean, uh, at the very beginning, the, with the first uh, uh, black and white collage and then- That's and how, but that's how I feel most of the time too, is like, I have no idea how that happened. But I actually do, uh, well, I, that's why I try to photograph the steps of it. Yeah. But it basically, you know, it started out with the collage and I can show you the, uh, I might actually, here, I can actually show you the picture. Oh, wait, I'll, wait, is this how you want to use your time? Are you okay with this? Wait. I think we just have like five minutes, so that's fine. Okay, wait, I'll show you. So these are the pictures. This is like, just because you know me, this is a, all right. Um, so I, I make this folder and I'm sort of categorized like flowers, figures, right? So then I made a print folder. Let me see which one it is. Okay, so these are all, the figures I'm going to try to work with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then some of the flowers. So like, like this is the, this is the photo. I see. Oh, so you just have your collection, you just pull it and say, oh, so these are the photos. These are photos I shot last year. So I try to always have new photos. Mm -hmm. I'm not using my vintage photos right now. Anyway, I'm not using, I'm trying to keep them separate as prints. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is her. Mm -hmm. laying on the edge of the pool and then what I did was I cut her out right I remember that. and I got rid of the whole pool and you had some wild um wrapping paper or something I just had this yep and I'm gonna so right so what I'll do is I'll print her probably like five times I'll get five eight by ten panels I'll use five different backgrounds I mean I think it's fairly obvious there's no other way to cut her except along her top line here yeah. Um, because I don't want to use the pool. Right, right, right. I don't want this shape and I don't like this background. I mean, I can't do anything with this. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna put her like, but I like the rocks. So the rocks are good because then it's like she's on the edge of a cliff, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the rocky cliff and I'll get rid of all of this and then I'll just try different backgrounds. But most of the backgrounds will be just like light colored. They might have flowers on them. They could just, and I'm gonna make, I make a bunch of stuff too. So I do, like I'll use my photos. I'll make a bunch of, um, I'll make some printmaking stuff. I'll do some other stuff that I can use in the artwork. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna try, this is her closer, closer up. But um, I like her legs. Like I honestly, mm. Yeah, I like the way she's stretched out. Like, I mean, I could do this one, but I feel like you did something like this, but then you had to make the skirt. It was like, hard. remember that one? It was like horizontal. Yeah, it didn't work. It's hard It's hard to get it exactly right without the, the support of the photograph. Um, I mean, I've done this one a million times. I'll, 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 I, I could do this one every year. Like the same picture I've done a million times. I mean, and then here's it with her legs. So I kind of, you know, again, like I'll cut her out of the background and then she's carrying this massive bouquet. Um, I'm gonna do this one <coughs> laying down. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, I like that. Yeah, but then I have to figure out if I want her laying down like this or if I want her laying down like that. <laughs> right, I think I like her laying down actually like that mm -hmm. or standing up. I don't know, right? So I have to play with it. Yeah. Well, I've been having fun playing with the ones that you printed a while ago. Some uh -huh. 
down, some are, you know, horizontal. Yeah, so I, and actually I'm gonna, that's one of the things I wanna do next is um, get some other pictures that I, I'd like you to print so I can finish those series. Right. Oh, look at this. Ooh. So yeah, this was from the Vermont workshop. So this is like perfect for me because I can just take, I can take her right out of this background and then mm -hmm. I could put her on something like she could be standing on a box or a ball and then mm -hmm. balancing these flowers. She can have these flowers in her hand. I mean, I can do so much with this because of the gesture of her hand. Right. I mean, I already did one with this. Mm -hmm. nice. I did, I did this one. So this photo, this photo I made into, so these are, these are good ones. These are ones I know that can work. This is this. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. So that's the before and then that's the after, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you can see how they transform, but that's what I think my video is gonna be on, is how I can take a photo like this and turn it into that. Cool, okay. But so it's not possible to, to I have to subscribe. I'd have to subscribe to the whole series. It's not possible just to look at a couple of artists. You have to subscribe to the whole series, but um, right. Yeah, you can't. But okay. Two hundred. Yeah, buy fifty hours worth of fifty hours worth of information for two hundred fifty dollars. That's basically like that's right. pretty cheap. Yeah. No. It, and, and you no. might meet an artist on there. I mean, you can. You know, you can. The thing about it is, you can watch them while you're uh, washing the dishes. You know, like Rory watches YouTube while he does the dishes. I mean, you know, <laughs> like podcasts while you're walking the dog. I mean, you know, you can listen to the information. You know what I mean? And the artists that you like, you can rewatch them in your studio. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. What's well, an idea? Yeah, okay. it should be good. All right. Let me wait. Stop. Okay. So this would be really good 